All right, welcome to the video, everyone. We are in the middle of update week for New England, and we are on our last competition week. Uh, this is week eight of eight, and next weekend will be the tournament, so looking forward to that. This week, we are going for the Red Fox with the Coleman 22 Hornet right here. Won't do much good on that moose, that's for sure. But we have to go for Red Fox with the 22 Hornet, which will be a lot of fun. I think I'll probably spend a lot more of my time on Yukon. I know where the Red Fox are on Yukon a little better. Haven't quite learned it here on New England yet. So that is definitely where I'll be checking it out. As we can't get into the top three, we'll still be looking for those diamond trophies um, because we've already done it twice this season. And as we can't do the sniper because we've had that twice this season, which would be for the longest single shot all harvest checks pass on a red fox with the 22 coleman we won't be able to get that award either so we probably won't be taking any chances with those long range shots and then the one award we can get which we will be looking for i really would like to close it out and that's the jackalope award which is for the smallest male red fox taken with the 22 hornet so we'll be looking for the little guys and for the trophies for sure we'll be checking other you know spots depending on what time maps are set for we'll be checking our map doing some multiplayer runs and we will definitely be looking for any kind of trophy we can get as usual so i guess we're going to be looking for red fox and then we get to have the tournament next weekend so i'm lo looking forward to that on top of all this new england uh stuff we've been doing we've been doing a lot of new england hunting and uh really enjoying that and learning this map so but for this weekend right now we got to go looking for a red fox we have to take a break from new england i hope you enjoy the video let's get to it well right away we've got a nice little level two red fox out here so we i'd say that's a pretty good chance at going for the jackalope award if he's gonna work his way right down here to the edge we can work our way around here my favorite fox lake on yukon is wolfhead lake over on the left. Boy, that's going to be tough. He's right over the edge there. Hmm. I don't know what the drop is on this this thing at all. want to face away too of course and we'll see if he moves around a little bit marker off of him okay since our wind is good I think we're gonna set up over here and we'll use our jackrabbit collar and get him to come to us We can set up here at this angle. Maybe if he comes along this bank here, we'll have a nice shot at him. We will give that a shot. My luck, I'll call some wolves in behind me. Oh, there he is. Perfect. 185. Let's get him good and close. Because I think he's got a super good chance of making it. And we want to make that happen for sure. Because if we can get the Jackalope Award, we will... Uh, doubled all three awards for this season and right at the final buzzer that would be pretty cool what is our range on the Coleman okay 164 and 109 109 is a sweet spot that's right in the center let's, let's shoot for that come on up here fuzzy he's gonna sit there at 120 Get up to 110 and we will give it a shot. 
We'll make sure we get some penetration with the Coleman, especially since he's most likely going to be quartered too. Gonna give us a nice broadside shot, I'm sure. Now we're sitting at 90 there. If he holds. Yeah, he's going to come in even closer. Look at that new model in the scope. Looks good. Well, we're going to get so close, we're going to get too close. Now we're right between our zoning, so we're going to go, we're going to drop it in right here. And I say he's going to stop about 50. Back our Argus out a little, even. Give me a stop here, buddy. Or come right in my pocket and spook. There you go. All right, perfect. Down right away. The Hornet put him right down. All right. A level two red fox. Here we go. New model and all. Beautiful. 4.72. Man, that looks so good. This is the first uh, red fox I've shot with the harvest screen. I know everyone knows this. And I did that short where I compared, you know, three of the varieties from the old version to the new version, like back to back. I just remembered to record it right before the update. So that came out really cool. And you can really tell how much work was put into them. Nice little detail there, even on the fangs. Got a little teeth hanging out there. That looks great. 10.13 pounds and their max weight is 33 pounds. So he is less than a third of max weight so he is a tiny little fella 4.72 and their score for diamond is 14.1 so i'd say this guy has a really good chance of making it let's keep our fingers crossed about that and hope because i would love to have locked up this jackalope award Finally spotted something worth trying for, and we've got a moose over there at 253 to 307. Moose are 274. Doesn't look like he's going to make it. I don't think he's wide enough in the palms. Doesn't have enough going on up front. But we're going to sneak around and see if we can't get a shot on him and see what happens. He sure looks good over there, though. Of course, I haven't seen anything in a long time. Got to get used to those racks. We are going to see if we can't sneak in here. Get a little handgun action on the moose. We'll be using our 454 here. I have not used that in a long time, but I needed something that was lighter weight having this uh, competition weapon kind of taking up space in my normal inventory so we'll we brought this with us do a little wolf hunting protection while we were here which paid off Let's see if we can get that 454 in there for a heart shot oh don't go aggressive on me <laughs> forgot they can go aggressive now I might spook him he'll run me over stomp a mud hole right in me here all right, that's good enough. Just in case this guy behind us goes aggressive. Let's see if we can line this up. I don't like to shoot them when their head's down. It adjusts their heart much lower than their, where I'm used to shooting it. But we'll try. That did not do it. Not a heart shot. I've been practicing my shots because the moose, you know, they're up and down, they're drinking. I know where I got to put it between those elbows when he's standing, but whenever they put their head down, the adjustment, I'm just not quite there, but at least be able to get a good look at how close we were. We could maybe use this to help judge. 
454 did a number on him. Just didn't quite catch the heart. Alright. Good looking moose there. At least he landed nice for us. And he. Oh, he is a diamond! <laughs> oh, 275.66, He is a level 4 diamond moose. My first one ever. <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> Got a shot of him taking a drink there with our 454. I honestly, with those brows, I didn't think he had a chance. I mean, but he is super wide. That's one thing I noticed across the lake. He was so wide. Man, let's see what we did here. How close? Oh, we barely clipped the lung, but notice where you'd think the heart, in my mind, the heart would drop down even lower into those elbows. It actually rocks back, so that makes sense. So now it's more instead of where the elbow joint was I guess it does adjust with it and goes back a little bit but we can see there so that is pretty cool now I have a much better understanding shoot back a little bit and look at that barely barely catching lungs that drinking low you better <laughs> if you're gonna shoot for the heart go go a little more safe and go for those lungs and you might actually catch the heart actually better because the heart actually pulls up a little bit so that's pretty interesting if nothing else <laughs> the reason it caught me off guard <laughs> i knew it wasn't a diamond i'm like there's no way this is a diamond i was expecting a gold and as soon as i saw diamond it actually caught me off i literally couldn't think <laughs> that was funny at 1302 pounds on the moose here and he's a 275.66. They take a 274.9, so he just barely made it. And max weight is 1367 for these guys. But we were able to take him down with our handgun. Got a little handgun action on the moose with the 454. We used our our sunbird that's free with the uh, with the game here now, and it is 87.26 yards. But man, how close were we? Look, almost messed the diamond up. Didn't know it was even a diamond didn't think it was a diamond and almost it I don't think it it doesn't get closer than that <laughs> that is I'm glad the game counted it that's all I, I can say so beautiful another moose diamond to add to the lodge all right so we came up on this huge pack of wolves look at these they're all traveling together there's one in there that we want. <laughs> there he is. It's a 39 to 41. Guaranteed diamond. They are diamond at 39, so. I don't know where they're headed. They're almost coming to me. They've circled this lake. So if I can keep them from going attentive on me, the wind's good. They're all calm. We can catch them. Looks like they're gonna go up this edge of this hill here. We've got a 308 for him. Because I'm not gonna risk trying to get close to that pack. There's a lot of wolves in there. That's crazy. I thought it was two packs, but they're traveling together. There he is. Get him up in this area. Alright. Oop. Bye now. Not him. There he is. Give him a chance right there. Oh. What's he doing? Oh, he's alert. He's alarmed. Ah, might have messed up. He seen us. We're laying down now. Give this a try. Oh. Chance. I was focused on what in the world. Alright, try it again. Hmm. That's where I wanted to be, but right there. Oh, make up your mind. Alright, buddy. That should be good. Perfect. And gone. Alright, let's go pick him up. 
Hopefully we'll scare the rest of them off. Alright, here he is. Got the right eyes going. And he should be a guaranteed diamond. And he is a 40. Nice. That's pretty good size. 176.37 pounds. That is max weight for the wolf. The wolves are 176 max weight. And he is an even 40 on the score. That is a beautiful wolf. And we center punched him. Dead on, double long, perfect shot. 143.6 yards with the Zarza 308. What an awesome trophy to have. And we will get him taxied right away. And we can look at him here. Nice. That is awesome, a max weight gray wolf. I'm pretty sure I've never shot a max weight gray wolf on this game. 1700 cash, so max weight gray wolf, that pays out really well, except you're gonna end up taxing him, obviously, so. But it paid for a lot of his taxidermy costs, that's for sure, that's pretty cool. 308 does it again, and he adds another trophy to the lodge. What a great way to end our weekend on the competition. It is time to get back to New England and finish out some more of those drink zones I'm still working on on the new map. All right, everyone, we are back here in the lodge where we have our trophies from this week's competition. And we did complete our Jackalope Award right here with our 4.7 scoring male red fox now the jackalope again is for the smallest male red fox and we were able to come away with that nice little level two guy right here and that is pretty small but he looks really beautiful with that new new textures he gets to be in here so we did close out that final award we got it twice this season along with sniper twice and the top three twice so we maxed out by the end before this weekend's coming tournament so not 100% sure how much time I have, but I'll try to put in as much as I can. I have a lot going on this weekend, but we've got to give it a try anyway. Um, work it in the best way that I am able to. The other trophies we came away with were our level 4 moose. That was a 275.6 here, and that was quite the surprise. We Barely were able to catch to them lungs with the way he was drinking. So that was a lot of it more educational than anything I'm really surprised he made it, it has to be on that spread, but uh, he's pretty wide He just doesn't have it on the brows at all hardly so <laughs> it's kind of a shocker But that's why he just barely made it it that he did and uh, It was definitely a great learning experience that is for sure to know where to be taking those moose shots because um, we're probably going to be shooting a lot of moose, obviously. And then our other uh, special trophy was our max weight gray wolf right here. What a beautiful boy. And he is a big old boss. Glad to have him in the in the uh, trophy lodge. Look at that. 4-0 dead on the money. What a big, big wolf that is. That is super cool. So like I said, with the tournament this weekend, looking forward to see how that goes for us. But in the meantime, we do have much more of New England to explore and discover on those drink zones for the other species. So that's what I'll be grinding away at for the rest of this week. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel. If you didn't, thank you for watching this long. Back to work on the next video. Until then.